Hello and welcome to Inside Science. Guys, let's start our discussion. The first issue is tear gas. Why this tear gas was in news? Because recently a protest is going on in Hong Kong known as Hong Kong protest. Why this protest? Because Chinese government is passing a law known as extradition law amendment which will extradite those persons who are anti-Chinese and who are pro-democratic. So this protest is there in news. So guys remember this tear gas is also called lacrimeter and is a group of substances that irritates the mucous membrane of the eyes. It causes stinging sensation and tears and its effects are temporary and reversible in most of the cases and the gas masks with, uh, with activated filters provide good protection against them. And guys remember it is very important it was first used in World War I. So it can be asked in prelims as a factual question and most often substance use synthetic organic halogen compounds. It is not true gases but are liquids or solids that can be finally dispersed in the air through the use of sprays, fog generators, grenades and shells. Two types of these gases are there. One is uh, chloroacetophenone that is also CN and second is chlorobenzyldin uh, malonitril so it is there so the next issue is organic food regulatory system in india what is this the union ministry for commerce and industry informed about the existent organic food regulatory system in the country during the winter parliamentary sessions 2019 food safety and standards authority of india is the food regulator and in the country and is also responsible for regulating organic food in the domestic market and imports. FSSI had notified the existing certification system through food safety and standards that is organic foods regulation in 2017. So the, the, then uh, let's discuss something about organic food. Organic farm produce means the produce obtained from organic agriculture while organic food means food products that have been produced in accordance with specified standards for organic production. According to FSSAI, organic agriculture is a system of farm design and management to create an ecosystem of agriculture production without the use of synthetic external inputs such as chemical fertilizers, pesticides and synthetic hormones or genetically modified organisms. So what is this existing certification systems? One is National Program for Organic Production that is NPOP. It grants organic farming certification through a process of third party certification. It involves the accreditation program for certification bodies, standards for organic production, promotion of organic farming etc. And it is implemented by APEDA. What is APEDA? Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority. It comes under Ministry of Commerce and Agriculture, not Ministry of Agriculture. It is Ministry of Commerce and Industry. It is very important to remember it. The NPOP standards for production and accreditation system have been recognized by the European Commission, Switzerland and USA as equivalent to their respective accreditation systems. So the next, uh, next is the uh, participatory guarantee system uh, for India that is PGS. What is this? We will discuss. It is another process of certifying organic products and the certification is in the form of a documented logo or statement. It is implemented by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. The organic farmers have full control over the certification process and this keyword is important. Farmers have full control. PGS certification is only for farmers uh, for or communities that can organize and perform a group individual farmers or groups of farmers smaller than five members are not covered under PGS. This uh, participatory guarantee system is applicable on on-farm activities comprising of crop production, processing and livestock rearing. That is what is off-farm processing activities such as storage, transport and value addition activities by persons or agencies other than PGS farmers away from the group are not covered under the PGS. This is important. Organic foods are also required to comply with the requirements of labeling uh, of FSSI in addition to that NPOP or PGS India. A question was asked in mens 2018. 
Sikkim is the first organic state in India. What are the ecological and economic benefits of organic state? Let's discuss about the significance of this uh, logo. First is this uh, tick mark is there. In the tick mark, uh, it is with the second leaf represents that the FSSI has certified the product as organic. And this uh, green leaf represents the nature. And this uh, circle represents what? The holistic wellness at a global platform while symbolizing organic food. And the green color symbolizes environment, agriculture, sustainability and healthy life. So you can have a look on this. So let's discuss about the next issue that is Vogenville. What is this Vogenville? This is a small South Pacific island uh, and it will vote for a referendum to gain independence from Papua New Guinea. And if the referendum is passed, Vogenville would become the world's newest, world's newest and possible the smallest independent country. That's why it was, uh, it is significant, uh, it has significance. So, Vogenville is currently a province of Papua New Guinea, one of the most populous Pacific Island states and it forms the part of Solomon Island Archipelago. This is important. So, uh, in the late 1970s, a decentralized system of a provincial government was introduced uh, in Vogenville. The current autonomy arrangements were implemented following the constitutional enactment of the Vogenville Peace Agreement. The Vogenville Peace Agreement signed in 2001 brought autonomy and an end to the violent conflict between the people of Vogenville and the government of Papua New Guinea. So the uh, uh, Panguna Mine, also known as the Vogenville Copper Mine, holds some of the world's largest reserves of copper and it is world's largest open cut copper mine. So it is very very important, please remember it. So the next issue is fundamental duties. People you are very aware about this still will discuss because it was in news. Because the government is planning to assign it different ministries with the tax of spreading awareness about fundamental duties among people. The idea of fundamental duties is inspired from the constitution of Russia. Uh, these were incorporated in part IVA, you know this, and 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act 1976 and on the recommendation of Swarna Singh Kermit. Swarna Singh Kermit, you know it very well. Originally 10 in number uh, was there and recently one more was added. So now is total 11 fundamental duties are there. So this one was added in 86th Constitutional Amendment of Act of 2002, it is important to remember. See guys, actually this all 11 duties are listed in article 51A of the constitution, the sole article in uh, 4A, part 4A. So let's have a look because uh, let's have a revision to fundamental duties. Uh, the uh, clause A is to abide by the constitution and respect the national flag and the national anthem. B is to cherish and follow the noble ideals which inspired our uh, national struggle for independent uh, freedom. And C is to uphold and protect the sovereignty, unity and integrity of India. D is uh, to defend the country and render national service when called upon to do so. And like this you can have a look on this and uh, the last one is to provide opportunity to education by the uh, parents, the guardian uh, to his child or a ward between the age of 6 to 14 years uh, as case may be. So the fundamental duties serve as a reminder to citizens that while enjoying their rights they have also to be quite conscious of duties they owe to their country, their society and to their fellow citizens. However, like the D D D D DPSP, the duties are also non-justiciable in nature and already 11 discussed to provide opportunities for education to a child or what between this one is added in 86 constitutional amendment act we have discussed already and guys in mens 2008 one question was asked that is enumerate the fundamental duties incorporated in the constitution after the 42nd amendment act so let's discuss about the next issue that is the summary app why the summary app was in use let's discuss Samiria is one of the air pollution mitigation measures which provides hourly updates on the National Air Quality Index that is AQI and the app is developed by the Central Pollution Control Bureau that is CPCB which provides information on air quality for more than 100 cities across the country. 
द आप रिप्रेजेंट्स द लिस्टेड सिटीज इन ए कलर कोडेड फॉर्मेट बेस्ड ऑन देयर ए क्यू आई लेवल्स द आप कैन ऑल्सो यूज टू फाइल अ ट्रैक कंप्लेन्ट्स रिलेटेड टू गार्बेज डंपिंग रोड डस्ट वेहीकुलर एमिशंस और अदर पॉल्यूशन इशूज इन ए पर्टिकुलर एरिया सो इन दिस मैनर द सिटीज विल बी रिप्रेजेंटेड द डेली वॉज द हाइस्ट हियर आफ्टर दैट फरीदाबाद एंड गाजियाबाद इज देयर सो वट इज देयर दैट इज नेशनल एयर क्वालिटी इंडेक्स ए क्यू आई इज इंडेक्स फॉर रिपोर्टिंग डेली एयर क्वालिटी एंड इज कैलकुलेटेड फॉर एट मेजर पॉल्यूटेंट्स नेमली ग्राउंड लेवल वजन पी एम टेन पी एम टू पॉइंट फाइव कार्बन मोनोक्साइड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड नॉट कवर्ड ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर इट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नॉट कवर्ड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड एमोनिया लेट सो द नेक्स्ट इशू इज विंटर ग्रेड फ्यूल इन लद्दाख इज सच ए ब्यूटिफुल एनवायरमेंट इन लद्दाख so the, it was launched to address the problem of loss of fuel during extreme winter conditions and if the freezing of diesel it is actually uh, what happened um, in their vehicle when winter temperature drops to low as minus 30 degree celsius and uh, the special winter grade diesel is developed by the indian oil corporation limited that is iocl it has a for poor point of minus 33 degree celsius and does not lose its fluidity the poor point of liquid is the temperature below which the liquid loses its flow characteristics and it is important it also meets bureau of indian standards that is bis specification of uh, that is bs 6 uh, grade so this bs 6 grade already we have we know that it is going to be uh, applied uh, in first april 2020 so this bharat state norms are emissions control standards put in place by the government to keep a check on air pollution based on the european regulations that is euro norms so that is uh, bs 6 is a key improvement in fuel quality over bs 4 in uh, that is in the light of lower sulfur content which will reduce the pollution harmful hydrocarbon it will be eliminated in uh, bs 6 uh, level it seeks to reduce the level of certain harmful hydrocarbons in the emissions that are produced due to incomplete combustion of fuel so let's discuss a question which was asked in prelims 2015 which one of the following countries of south west asia doesn't open out to the mediterranean sea not is there okay so options are syria jordan lebanon and israel this jordan is the answer please half a look on the map and uh, the different important countries especially the um, west asian countries the south asian countries these are very very important from location point of view so what is the question was in prelims 2015 to uphold and protect the sovereignty unity and integrity of india is a provision made in the options are preamble of the constitution dpsp far and fundamental duties if people uh, are not much more aware about these fundamental duties they will tend to the sovereignty is there unity is there integrity is there so uh, option would be pre preamble but it would not be the right answer right answer would be fundamental duties so you have to mug off the preamble and fundamental duties very well so have a nice day guys see you and uh, please solve the questions it is very very important prelims is coming so quickly so have a nice day